day I want to be proposed to on like a day that I don't expect it at all, okay? Well, hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. We are back in this background because I truly, really love it. And I received so many questions from you guys. So many actually requests, I guess that's a better word, that are related to Valentine's Day. And I think I've like told you this before, I'm not like a really big Valentine's Day girl, but I'm very much into you guys in terms of providing whatever videos that you guys request so, so today i wanted to answer kind of like to all of your questions in one video when it comes to this week but also if you like me are not very much into valentine's day i really hope that you're gonna find some inspiration so you guys asked me what to buy to your loved ones what to buy to yourself after my last video how to kind of like dress for valentine's day date when it's like early stages how to dress for like a more casual galentine's day with your girlfriends how to dress for valentine's day when your relationship is kind of like very comfortable and long lasting and i was like I'm, i can't like film a video for all of those questions so initially i've written a blog post with all the gift ideas which i will link below by the way but then i was like maybe i can film one video in which i am gonna show it to you all so now today's video was supposed to be my closet clear out because honestly i cannot put a needle in my closet and I just keep accumulating new stuff for fashion week I have my look for Valentine's Day I have so many suggestions for you and I just got a lot of new things from selfridges.com now I'm sure you're all familiar with selfridges it's like my favorite destination to shop in, in London. I actually have previously shared a shopping vlog from there in London. This is so beautiful. Wow. It puts you in the right spirit, you know? If you come Christmas shopping, you're ready. I have shopped there as well as Selfridges in Manchester before as well. Selfridges is just amazing because you can find anything and everything there from clothes to underwear, pajamas, homeware, electronics. Like every time I'm in London and my battery on my phone dies, I basically run to Selfridges to find external battery charger. And it's just like a destination for everything. But I actually have partnered with them on this video to also show you some Valentine's Day inspired looks. So we're going to do a bit of everything. We're going to do some gifts. We're going to do some, you know, Valentine's Valentine's Valentine's, date night, everything. Okay, let's get going and I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, so first up, you guys know that like I have many, many, many bags, right, in my collection, but actually I only have like four or five evening clutches and most of them are like gold, black and gold, more black and gold, green and gold, more black and gold, mainly black and gold. And when it actually comes to me trying to wear something with like palladium hardware or something silverish, I never can actually find a perfect piece, especially for evenings, but also for day. So today I'm going to show you my very new Bottega Veneta clutch and this one is caught my eye so much. I actually saw it in real life in gold but I ended up ordering it on Selfridges in silver and it's essentially, I'm sure you're all familiar with the knot clutch from Bottega but this is the, oh it's so good inside as well. Wait, hold on let me show it to you. So it has a shoulder strap obviously which makes it a little bit more wearable because honestly I just can't carry this whole night like this and this and then it's here and then I'm struggling and then I can't hold my glass and my phone you know what I mean important stuff but what I really like about it is that compared to other clutches this one actually opens like really fully okay so you're not like going around trying to find your item in like this amount of space but it's so truly utterly gorgeous it's like very mirrored inside very beautiful gorgeous and i mean this hindrachato as they call it in italian is just 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 giving so much so this will be the clutch that i'm going to be styling a lot today because this is my perfect perfect evening clutch can we just agree on that and i think that this clutch will be so good as well during the fashion week month of the fashion weeks and also this part here the knot is actually metal so this is like metal this is precious leather really really well done i love it and this was something that i just had to show you right at the beginning because i honestly believe that it's gorgeous and you can find it on selfridges.com because trust me this is selling out fast everybody loves it it is what it is this february i'm actually going to be in new york for valentine's day and i will have a date night with filippo my boyfriend so we decided to do 
do like a nice little dinner in New York City because I feel like in New York Valentine's Day is quite a big deal and I'm gonna try on some dresses for you but also I'm gonna have a nice Valentine's Day just before so I'm heading to Belgrade actually where I'm gonna see some of my best 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 friends and we're gonna do a big party and then we're gonna spend one night at home just like in pajamas enjoying chilling etc I personally love to gift candles to my friends so in case any of you are wondering what to get for Valentine's Day if you're doing like a Valentine's or Valentine's Day with your friends and you want to give each other some gifts this is my recommendation this is actually a gift and it's my favorite there's like two scents that I like to give one is um well three scents that I like to give bay amber and vanille and amber is just so gorgeous it's one of my favorite scents so this is going to be given I have like four of these that I'm gonna give to my friends because I just want them to have this in their home you know sometimes like it's nice to give people makeup fragrance etc but I always feel like now that we're getting a little bit older <laughs> candles are really nice and thoughtful gift or vases I also really like to give vases one of my top ideas I would suggest is that on Selfridges you can get really nice Soho home stuff including some of the candles including like Travertino vases Fig Verde is my favorite scent from Soho home if you check it out on Selfridges you will find it and I just love that they have these travertine little pieces that I personally have and I also like to gift them to my friends so yeah candles vases home stuff glasses depends in which phase of life are your friends but that's my main 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 suggestion if you want to give nice gifts that they will kind of get excited for at least my friends do i have to say that between my best friend and i we also like to give our like each other kind of homey stuff she gave me a nespresso machine i think like nespresso like any kind of like coffee machine or anything like that for me every day i'm making my coffee i'm thinking of her and i'm thinking how grateful i am to her for getting me that coffee machine just because it's like something that everybody needs everybody loves and everybody looks forward to does that make sense hope that helps somebody oh another last thing that i really 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 love to receive and give is diaries diaries agendas i have so many i actually have two but i love diaries okay i love them i use two of my agendas as you guys already know i've spoken about it so many times so i'm gonna shut up about it but agendas and diaries are my favorite things to gift and to receive okay okay guys i can stand here and chat to you forever we all know that i i mean you guys never complain about it though but i think i don't want to be in this white t-shirt forever right so let's start changing into some cool valentine's day gifts let's not change into gifts though you can put a nice bow on yourself that could also be a nice outfit for valentine's day let's not go there it's not that kind of video suggestions i am going to start getting change into my perfect valentine's day outfits let's do it okay guys here we go number one is this nancy the jacket dress how stunning is this dress so we have this kind of like a hanging bits which i think are really sexy and attractive it's a velvet dress and i like the shape but can i just discuss the chest area i love the design i think it's sexy it's attractive but it's not vulgar it's very like sort of seductive and dainty and a big oversized blazer would look perfect it also goes perfectly with my new little bag situation but you can go for something very simple perhaps depends really on the shoes but i can even go for something like this like my clutch from the row or is this too much i mean it's never too much right we all know how much i love magda butrum that's not a secret okay i love nancy the jacka i've loved her since she, like forever but you might remember another dress actually that i wore during london fashion week and it's this beauty over here this brown little beauty i actually ran pretty much straight from the airport to selfridges when i arrived from new york fashion week to go and get fitted for this dress it's a selfridges exclusive they have such an incredible variety of nancy the jacket dresses in boutique and online so i will link this below i will try link both of these below if this one is still available because that was in september and i just love them i I think they are truly utterly incredible now with shoes i mean honestly there's so much i could go for i just want to try this is like gonna be really sexy it depends also how tall is your partner right but these amino hold hold your horses let's just see because this will make me look really tall and long I have a mirror there but i have a lot of boxes here so this is one option depends also where you live and how comfortable you feel with this i like to look this tall i'm not gonna lie but my boyfriend's really tall though that doesn't really matter i think that i wouldn't really wear these because when i wear a dress like this i prefer to look cool than to go for like very very sexy shoes so i would most likely go for something from Saint Laurent. now Saint Laurent or jimmy Choo. let's see both options so we 
have these two heels. I feel like it's going to be Jimmy Choo's because I love the Saida pump so much that in this video you might see another new pair, which will be my, I think, fourth pair of Saida pumps, which is just insane. But I love how comfortable they are and I love the sparkly detail and I'm not going to be able to close it now. Okay, so here we go. You guys will have to help me. We have the Saint Laurent pump, which I think is gorgeous. And we also have Saida pump but ah actually really tough decision i think they're both really really gorgeous i hope you can see them really well i love them it's just a matter of personal taste i think like with a huge oversized blazer i will go with this like more like big structured shoulders and then saida i would do with like a black leather trench or like silk trench i have a gorgeous one from Saint Laurent, so this could definitely do i think this will be my look you guys let's go on to the next one now i know that some of you are single and will end up in a club for valentine's day which by the way used to be me for many 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 years and i thought like a cute party dress that's kind of you know it's fun and it's like yeah so what like i'm single but you know why not have some fun is this one this is from 16 arlington it's very short but you know why not i love it it's very comfortable there are no zips you just slip it on it's a perfect fit and i mean it kind of covers everything that it should cover it has this little adjustable detailing so you can kind of leave it open if you wish but i actually prefer the way it looks when it's fully closed as such so this is it i would wear this dress with a pair of boots i have a pair of boots from Saint Laurent, or again you can go for something more classic or you can really go crazy again for those platform amino wadis honestly when i put a dress like this on i immediately it's really weird but i almost miss those single days when you kind of go out to a club with your girlfriends and you just want to have some fun you're not looking for anything you're not searching for anything but you want to have fun i love 16 arlington i think they have such beautiful detailing as you can see and i think a dress like this could be such a perfect choice i will love. i actually have i believe another dress from 16 arlington but completely different style so let me just show it to you now let's bring this one out completely like five worlds apart i actually have perfect shoes for this dress and i'm talking about these beautiful saint laurent satin sandals are they gorgeous i think so now this dress is like i'm chic i'm sophisticated i am you know that girl i don't know if this is the most flattering dress for me just because i have quite a small waist and for me it would be better to accentuate the waist maybe with the right belt here it would look better on me but i do love the color and i love how beautifully elegant this is now a dress like this i think is beautiful for kind of like partners who just want to have like a romantic dinner maybe like not a first date but more like people that are that have been together for a long time like if i wore something like this a little bit more fitted maybe i need a smaller size Filippo would go crazy he would love Love an outfit like this that's for sure now not everybody wants to be wearing a dress or not everybody's a girl's girl some of us like to wear something like this including me on certain days we all know that I have my like baggy situations I just fell in love with this Mugler body now guys i have a bit of like a love hate relationship with some Mugler pieces because sometimes they're just a little bit too much for me and also i don't really tend to wear a cleavage almost ever because i'm always worried that something is not gonna sit and as carl lagerfeld said luxury is when an expensive looking dress feels comfortable something along those lines but this is what i want okay i want comfort i don't want to think if something's gonna come out and it's not because there's all of this mesh here right so there's not much moving i also opted for baggy jeans because obviously you can wear some skinny jeans i love page denim for me page denim is like one of those best skinny denim brands if you want to go for like skinny denim go for the page denim you will find a variety on selfridges i know like i always get mine there but i also really like these from citizens of humanity because i thought like let me pick something a little bit baggy these are size 26 and as you can see this is what they look like and styled with heels now we can maybe also go for these aminas i mean you know i'm really trying to incorporate these aminas because i've actually never worn them before so i just think let me see but i think pointy would be better no i don't like this because i don't like how the ankle you see how weird it looks at the bottom but so like i told you these jeans are size 26 and this body is has a very high cut which we can only show if 
the jeans are low rise. So I want to show you same jeans in size 29. Let's try that. Now, guys, this is what I was telling you about. Okay, these are the same jeans in size 29. So now we achieve the low rise kind of long leg. And I actually had an article of Vogue France published a picture of me in baggy jeans that I wore during New York Fashion Week. And they were saying that that's kind of how jeans, one of the like biggest trends of jeans. And they basically look like this. So what can I tell you besides get them three sizes bigger and wear them low rise. This is the look. I'm wearing Saint Laurent pointy plexi heel. I couldn't fully close it at the back because my hair's down and everything's down and I'm dealing with a lot of <laughs> things right now. But this look is probably, I mean, this might be too much for some of you, I agree. But then you have an option of wearing, obviously, the jeans high up. So entirely up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. I just am here to give you options, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's say that no Valentine's Day is the same as the other. And let's just say that the, that guy that kind of wronged you or rejected you before or cheated on you or God forbid your ex-boyfriend gets in touch on Valentine's Day and he's kind of like interested in taking you out for a dinner. Well, I think you should say no because I don't think you should eat what you've already spit out. But in case you want them to regret being ever born or like rejecting you or not like, you know, doing whatever right, you should wear this dress because this dress is saying you will regret you were born when you see me. It's the most gorgeous David Coma dress and there's nothing vulgar about it. Nothing is too much, nothing is open, but yes, it's very, very sexy. And at the back it has this slit so you can make it tighter if you want because it's actually a zip. Or you can just keep it open. Let's close it all the way down so then it's more fitted if you do it this way, okay? Whatever floats your boat, whatever suits your body shape better. And honestly, I love this dress. I love David. I think David Coma does incredible dresses. You will find a good selection on Selfridges as well. David is a friend of mine and I think he's been around for a while. Like my, my free judgment is around 13 years, but I think the last three years, David has been killing it. Now I'm like struggling to walk because I really close myself in this. I think you can also wear like some kind of like light bra under. I chose um, some nipple covers. These are a little bit like light for me. So you, I can go a little bit darker as well. I have like whole shade wheel of colors because I just need them for my job. I personally, I love this dress. I think this is incredible. And obviously this can also be placed tighter because it's supposed to look like it's an over something that goes over your shoulders, but I actually don't have anybody at home now to make it tighter for me. And now I would go for very high heels just because I want to look like a supermodel. <laughs> Lol. You know what I mean. Now look at this. I mean, this look will say, it will just all do the talking. You don't even have to bother. You can just look pretty and sip on your drink and look bored the whole night and he'll be like, what is happening? Okay. So David Coma, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say this dress also for me personally, I will put in my archive and it will be perfect for like red carpets. If I need a dress, like last minute dress, or if I have like an elegant event to go to, even with a short blazer, let's try. This is so beautiful. This way it kind of looks like almost a tuxedo. If you see what I mean. Love it. Also, obviously, very, very sexy at the back. In case you might be wondering, but I'm sure you saw it coming, right? Okay, obsessed. David for the win. Now I just decided to stay in this dress. I wanted to say that I know that not everybody is going to be celebrating this Valentine's Day with a partner or going on a date or in some kind of love drama situation or whatever. Some of us are spending Valentine's Day with our friends. Like I told you, I'm going to Belgrade. We're going to have a night in. We're going to have a night out. A bit of everything. And... You might need a pyjama for that. And if you want to look cute in a cute pyjama, I have the right one for you. All of you that have been following my uh, vlogs, vlogmases, etc., you guys know that I love cute pyjamas. And I got this one from Eberjay. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a really cute, light pink pyjama with a black piping. I bought this for my pyjama collection because I have a vast collection of Olivia Van Hale, I don't know, like even white company 
pajamas but i really wanted to try this this brand and i like that it's cotton jersey i think that's so cute and so comfy so i wanted to have like pink pajama which i can then you know bring some like pink marshmallows some hot chocolate or wine or whatever you want to bring we're gonna watch movies all night talk you know gossip a little bit never hurt anybody right so that's one thing that i will link below it could also be a very nice valentine's day gift in case you're wondering but I now realize that I haven't shown you one other bit that I got, which I think is also very nice. If you suspect that perhaps your other half might be proposing to you on Valentine's Day. I personally wouldn't want that for me because I, I don't want to be proposed to on like my birthday or a Christmas day or a Valentine's day or any other day. I want to be proposed to on like a day that I don't expect it at all, okay? But I know that some people are very, 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 like they want, like I have some friends who I love very dearly and they want to be proposed to on their birthday or something like that. If you suspect that proposal might be happening, first of all, get your nails done because everybody will be asking to see the ring. We know that, right? That's a fact. But I have a perfect pair of shoes for you, besides the bag that I've already shown you. And we all know how much I love a good old shoe for a shoe. Now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a Jimmy Choo's for my wedding situation. And this is another pair of Cedars, white satin. Maybe don't wear these if it's like really snowy or rainy in where you live. But these white satin Cedars, I have Cedars now in so many colors. Hold on. So... This is my humble collection of Saida heels from Jimmy Choo. The black, the gold, the pink, and the white. I think this is a perfect wedding shoe also because they're very comfortable. But if you suspect a proposal and you just want to be like, well, I'm wearing white already. I think this and like a cute white, maybe even this, or maybe even for an engagement party. Ah, I have it. Look at this, you guys. Okay. So freaking cute. I mean, I can't. Okay. I will I'll link Saida's below as well because truly you can see that I really like these shoes i guess it is what it is so what can i tell you guys okay so now i want to hear if you have any recommendations for me for what to wear on valentine's day gifts outfits everything and anything so that was it for my valentine's day special for you guys I love you lots. I just wanted to say that even if you're not in relationship or if you are not doing anything for Valentine's Day or if you're in relationship but your partner's not doing anything special for you on that day, I just want to say like, who actually cares? Valentine's Day or no Valentine's Day, a day as a day should be a day for you to celebrate love and even if it's love for yourself from you to you, you should do something fun like don't crumble under the pressure of social media where everybody is showing like 101 rows or is going for like a romantic dinner because honestly 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 what happens on that one day i never trust social media and all i care is what happens in my relationship behind the closed doors that nobody can see that's the only and the most important thing but on another note the most important thing for me is my relationship with myself and i only allow myself once in my life to lose the relationship with myself uh, maybe twice let's say once because the other time i was very 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 young so it doesn't really count because i wasn't properly formed person but i only allowed myself to lose myself and touch with myself as a person once in my life and trust me it was the most horrible time of my life i never allowed anybody to see that because i'm a very proud person and i don't like to show struggle but the relationship that you have with yourself in hardship and in good times is the most important thing ever because if you don't have a good relationship with yourself if you always and constantly try to please other people no matter if it's your partner your family your friends your cousins your social media following if you're trying to please other people you will never be happy and the only person that matters in your life is you and i know that might sound selfish but honestly it's not selfish at all in fact you can never give other people love understanding time patience dedication if you don't have a good relationship with yourself and i have a friend who got divorced in 2021 and we spent some time in july around Cannes film festival and she told me that she spent a year after her divorce trying to kind of like do like a little bit of eat pray love in a way and she really was just searching 
the relationship to get back the relationship with herself and she's one of the most mesmerizing magnetic beautiful people that everybody loves that i've ever met does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense but for me she's one of the most beautiful humans that i know and it's only because she has such a strong love for herself and relationship with herself and i know i speak about this a lot but it's a topic that's very 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 dear to me so that's that I'm gonna love you gonna leave you and I'll see you very, very soon. Again, huge thanks to Selfridges for sponsoring this video. You can find all the looks that I've shown you in the description box below or in Selfridges. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.